All right, friends, we just learned all about Yayoi Kusama, and now we're gonna make a pumpkin just like her. So we're gonna start with a center pumpkin shape. So I have some different shapes and sizes that you could use. You're gonna pick one, and depending on the size, I can turn my paper vertical so I have more room, or horizontal so I can make a wider one or a taller one. I think I'm gonna make a tall pumpkin today. So I'm gonna start by holding my shape in the center. And if we notice, Yayoi Kusama's pumpkins are not always just round. They kind of have these squiggly abstract shapes. And so we're gonna start with that squiggly shape. To me, this one looks like a bowling pin, but I'm gonna hold it in place while I trace around it. And now I have the center of my pumpkin. But my pumpkin needs to get bigger, so I'm gonna add my next section. I'm gonna do that by tracing the side of my pumpkin, that line with my finger, to get a feel for it first. So I can see it goes a little bit out and then down and then out again and comes back in. So I'm gonna repeat that same line starting at the top of my um, middle shape. So I'm gonna go out and then down and then out again and touch. And then I can do that one more time. But this time I'm not gonna start in the middle, I'm gonna start at the one I just finished. So I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna do that same thing. Out, down, out, touch. So now my pumpkin's starting to grow and I'm gonna do it again on the other side, but I'm gonna practice this line. It does the same thing, out, down, out, touch. So I'm gonna repeat those steps, but on the other side. And now I have my pumpkin shape. And I'm going to add a stem, a nice big stem with an oval on the top to fit my giant pumpkin. Now, once we finish that, I want you guys to show your teacher so we can see and make sure that your pumpkin is nice and big. And so once we do that, we are gonna trace it, but today we're gonna be using some nice thick black markers. So not our normal skinny Sharpies, a thick black marker. And I'm gonna outline my pumpkin. And then I'm gonna erase any extra lines that I have hanging out. So now that I have my pumpkin done, I am going to start working on the polka dots since Ayoi Kusama likes to add polka dots to everything. And we know that she does different sizes of polka dots and different patterns with her polka dots. So to make my dot, I wanna try and make them nice and neat. So I'm gonna draw my circle first and then go through and fill it in. And I can repeat that over until I fill up my pumpkin. But she doesn't just do one section of dots. Her dots repeat, and sometimes they start to get smaller. So I'll do a smaller section of dots, draw the circle first, and then fill it in. And I'm gonna do that on both sides. And then I'm gonna make some even smaller ones. All right, so now my center is filled and I'm gonna keep doing that, but I'm gonna do a different pattern of dots in my next section. And then another pattern of dots in my next section. And I wanna make sure that I'm using my marker nice and neat. I can also go through and add some dots to my stem. I'm gonna do a pattern of some little dots until we fill up the whole thing. And once we're all done, then you're going to turn it in and put your name and class code on the back and you'll have a pumpkin that's nice and full like this. We're gonna cut them out next time, but today we're focusing on drawing our abstract pumpkin like Yayoi Kusama and adding our polka dots. All right, friends, I can't wait to see them. Happy creating.